Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day like me. And if not, I hope it gets better for you. <laughs> but for today's vlog, uh, it's first off, I want to say happy March Madness to you guys. Today starts off the month of March. Uh, I like the month of March. For one, it brings so many new beginnings. It's the seasonal change of my favorite season, spring. So uh, let's welcome March in. It has March Madness, you know, all the fantasy football and the margarita madness. So all the uh, hot bars that's getting special for the margaritas. Let me know so I can hit y'all up. And as well as we're celebrating International Women's Day. Day in the month of March, not to mention we got St. Patty's Day, so the look of the Irish comes in March, so uh, uh, this is one of my favorite months, uh, besides my birthday, my December, <laughs> uh, to, to experience it, so with you guys uh, sharing with you all today, it's going to be the first vlog to jump it off, you know, we got International Women's Day uh, coming up next week, so in honor of that, let's pre-start, let's, let's start the little pre-starting uh, to International Women's Day, hitting you guys with my audio interview I did with a young lady uh, the host of Unfiltered Podcast by the name of Nikisha Prince Haynes I had a very good time talking with this lovely young lady, she's from the Bahamas so she's an island gal and, <laughs> and so um, talking with her about my new book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, as well as you know my testimony, my life story, my upbringing, as well as my business Third Eye Entertainment LLC a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate motivate and entertain all at once and so without further ado I want to show you guys the audio interview clip uh, once we come on don't forget to comment like share and subscribe once you get done with it and then I'll, as well as I'll hit you guys up to more info on what's going on in different schools so check out the interview and hope you guys like it good afternoon listeners and welcome to Unfilter, the podcast show where we call it as we see it I'm your host, Nikisha Prince Haynes, and today my guest is Miss Different. But before we begin, let me tell you a little about Different. Different was born on December 15, 1990, in Houston, Texas, Fifth Ward. Overcoming homelessness and foster care, she had a normal childhood up until the time she was around the age of 11. Then she and her family ended up homeless. For the next three years, Different and her family would live in various places, including strangers' houses, cars, parks, bus stops, shelters, and even a crack house. At age 14, she was secretly placed in foster care, and after the first six months of being in the system and trying to get out, she discovered that in the state of Texas, foster kids who aged out of care, college tuition fees were waived. A light bulb went off in Different's head. She then used her street smarts to elevate her book smarts, which led Different to beating the odds. She is now an alumnus of Sam Houston State University and a member of BTC. Graduated receiving her bachelor's in international business with two minors in economics and business communication and her master's in entrepreneurship. Different is also a Texas real estate agent. She has a love for traveling and has visited over 50 countries and participated in amateur kickboxing. Her hobbies include reading, journaling, meditating, biking, ATV riding, zip lining, and hanging out with her best friend, her nephew. Different always knew she was meant for greatness. However, she understood to become the person she was meant to be it would take fixing her inner issues that plagued her purpose it was not until she found the courage to do something about her depression and dismiss the notion that black people don't do therapy while in therapy different was encouraged to channel her negative experiences into a positive outcome she quickly learned that with strategic planning, proper preparation, and constant prayer, different could manifest the life she was meant to have and wants others to do the same with their lives. Now, at the age of 30, realizing she is not the person she once was, and by God's grace, different is ready for the next adventure in her life, publishing her first book. It is What If, a controversial 
paradigm shift. A different hopes to inspire individuals to have healthy conversation with others about systemic racism. She concludes that when we have this conversation about systemic racism and other taboo subjects, then over time, this brings social awareness and society can start to change for the better. Because when you know better, you do better. Good afternoon, different, and welcome to Unfiltered. How are you today? Very good. How are you, Miss Nakisha? Thank you so much for having me, lovely queen. I'm very appreciative to be here. Hello to all out there listening. Thank you. I'm yes, very cool. Thank different. you. <laughs> I'm very it's different. different. Yes, spelled D I F E R N T. Different. Right. So let's get started. How did you get started in your career? Um, well, this all started uh, on accident, if you will, with Third Eye Entertainment LLC, my business. I have to trace it back to last year around the pandemic, um, being stuck in the house, dealing with my depression, and as you read in my bio, uh, being in therapy and getting my mental health check. This is what it led to. I was writing, um, started with journaling. It started off with journaling and writing out affirmations in my uh, my my little journal, if you will, and. Again, being stuck in the house, dealing with the depression, and boom, May 25th, 2020 happens. The day George Floyd died. Me being from Houston, I'm from 5th Ward, East from 3rd Ward, and so it's neighborhoods right next to each other. And so um, when his death occurred, I wanted to get involved into uh, having my voice be heard, getting involved in the, the protest. <clears throat> However, um, when the time came, I couldn't because it's so, you know, I wanted my voice to be heard longer than in that moment of time. I wanted it to be heard long after I'm gone. And so going home later on that night, just praying and meditating, being spiritually in tune with my third eye, talking with God, this is what he revealed to me over time, through dreams, through talking with people, watching movies, reading books, little messages here and there. Um, I just piece by piece started asking questions, you know, what if this, you know, what if George Floyd was a black, was a white man who died by a black police officer's arm, you know? questions like that and so basically you know over time this is what it came about and so I finished writing the manuscript in May to December 2020 and I took it to my attorney who you know then you know hit me with a ton of bricks and told me you know he needed yeah. LLC so I had to hit the ground running you know that's just the way life works you think you have a hold on it you know you're on your high horse life's come through and knocks you off and you just reminds you you don't know a damn thing and so <laughs> Although, you know, I had all these notches under my belt, um, it was my, my, before the pandemic, it was my purpose to start my business in real estate. And so, uh, I had no intentions of starting a small business, but, you know, hey, me being my own boss and CEO, I'll either, I'll either way, I'll take it. Um, Definitely. So, <laughs> from that, that time on, from May, from, from June 2020 to March 20, uh, 2021, um, I had to hit the ground running, learning the ins and outs of small business in Texas, as well as coming up with the name of my business and what it's going to be about and, you know, what products are we going to sell to the public, because now it's more than just about one book. Now this is, you know, more than, you know, it's bigger than that now. It's bigger than just getting my voice out and having my voice heard. This also goes back to a prayer that I asked God a long time ago for me to be the one in my family to break the generational curse to create generational wealth in my family. And so everything is starting to come into manifestation, starting to and think that I've spoken constantly into existence, starting to you know, manifest itself physically. And so March 2021, Third Eye Entertainment was we are a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products which it educates, inspires, and motivates all at once. Um, we have a model that we have we like to live by, and it's called Manifest Plan Prepare. What that means is, in order for those who believe they are destined to guarantee success in life, you have to, one, manifest what it is that you want in life. You have to speak it into existence. You have to get it in your heart and mind that that's going to come to pass. You are going to be that person that you receive. So the way that you do that is you remove all the fear, all the doubt, and replace it with faith. Start, you know, seeing it and believing in it. Uh, that, that notion they say, fake it until you make it. Hey, act like it. Start writing it out after 
allegations of doing just like what I did and it let nothing or no one stop me. Understand that it may take time but you stay focused and, and, and manifest it constantly. It will come to you eventually. Secondly, you move on to planning out where it is that you want to manifest. Not only would you put a plan for it, get it out of paper, make sure you have your backup plan, have two or three backup plans, have plans of how you're going to achieve, attack, overcome, you know, the obstacles that are going to come your way with this, you know, manifestation. It's not going to be easy. Nothing that's worth having is. So once you get that, and try to make sure you have the exit strategy, you know, make sure you understand the ins and the outs. And although you can't be prepared for the unknown, expect the unknown. So that's what planning is. Thirdly, be prepared for what it is that you are about to receive. And when I say prepare, <clears throat> that means prepare yourself from the inside out. Go fix whatever it is you need to fix, whether it be your mental, your physical, your financial. If you need to go mend broken bridges, if you need to go cut some people off, you need to forgive others, you need to forgive yourself, go do that. So whatever it is that you manifest and you're planning for, when it comes to you, you can be prepared for it. You can know how to deal with it. So you won't squander it or, or just, you know, let it, let it go to waste. So once you do that, manifest, plan, and prepare for whatever it is that you want in life, it will surely come to you. And so with this business that I, I, I manifest, plan, and prepare for it, that I entertain it, uh, we, like I said, our business that brings you know, social awareness to society. We provide services with motivational speaking. Also, we talk about taboo issues that are often swept under the rug, including systemic racism and justice. Uh, we even talk about domestic violence awareness, as well as suicide prevention, mental health awareness, especially in the black community. Also, the LGBT, excuse me, LGBTQ community, we talk about issues with them, as well as, you know, child sex trafficking. Any issues that are considered, you know, hmm. you know, people like to turn a blind eye to or pretend like it's not there, we bring it to light, we push that in nice. the people to, you know, be socially aware of what it is. And, uh, also, <clears throat> with the product side, you know, we have our first product, which is my new book, What is a Controversial Paradigm Shift? And with this book, um, again, our first task is to bring social awareness. So this book is written to inform and encourage thought-provoking and constant thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And it's done through graphic, but provocative illustration and in detail. And it, details on controversial deaths and events that have occurred in America within the African American community. The way that I have set this up is within four main paradigm shifts, or categorized paradigms of view, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. And within these main paradigms, I am asking some paradigm questions um, in regards to historical, political, and precedent. Uh, things that have happened within the African American community. So, for instance, in the historical paradigm, there's one sub paradigm to where I ask the question What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in illegal slave trading, whereas they stole millions of English men, women, and children from their home country and brought them on slave ships to America? And then you'll see the graphic, the provocative illustration of white people in shackles and chains being whipped by black slave owners on ships and you can see some jumping for ships as they did as we had to go through. And so it's basically just asking the question of what if the race was with the roles were reversed and this happened to white people instead of black people. What if? And so although again this book is again written to inform and encourage and stimulate thought provoking conversations, it's more than that. It's, it's, it's gonna ruffle some feathers, no doubt about it. It's gonna ring some bells and push some yeah. buttons. It's more than that. It's, it's, it's meant to make you think, but also, if you can make it through the last paradigm, hypothetical, that's where I tie it off. My main message and it's talking about unity, compassion, taking accountability and acknowledgement, coming up with ways that we can come together as a society to, to invoke changes that are needed in this world. Quite frankly, Nikisha, I'm tired of talking about systemic racism. I want to talk about it right. too. And so, this is my theory, this is my contribution, this is my way of going about it. Uh, so again, one reason why I decided to write is because, you know, the death of George Ford, I wanted my voice to be heard. Second, you know, the prayer that I prayed long ago to be the 
be the one to break the generational curse. And third, I'm just tired of, you know, hearing people say, oh, racism doesn't exist, oh, I don't see it, or if it is a lie, it's because you guys keep talking about it. Well, how can you guys still be going through racism when all you guys are starting to have your own business now? You know, things of that yeah. nature. So, I thought, well, how about this? How about we take all of the controversial things that, and historical things, true things that have happened to us in our past, present, and, and more likely in our future if we don't change? So let's true. Let's true. Of these things. Let's take, not to take all of them, I just took a handful of them. Um, let's take all of these and let's do a race roll first. Let's hold the mirror up to your face. Let's see how you would like it then. Okay? And if it makes you uncomfortable, if it makes you mad, if it pisses you off, you know, it's wrong, it's disgusting, it's upset. If, if that's the case, when you see that with a white person, but on the flip side, when you see it happening to a black person, it's justified, or it's their fault, or they should have complied, or this, that, and the third. You know, you have every excuse under the sun, other than, you know, it was wrong, then that's how you know that systemic racism is still alive and well, and needs to be eradicated, period. And so... And, and, and uh, now the book is, uh, I announced the book on Juneteenth, so it's been out as far as, uh, it's out now, it's available on pre sale on my website now at differentsworld.net. Uh, however, the um, book has been out about speaking a lot of reviews, it's even, you know, overseas, and uh, people in Sri Lanka have heard about this book, so um, one thing that I, I've learned from, you know, number 45, you know, America's previous president, who's not mine, I never acknowledged him as mine, but that's the most respectful thing I can say. Uh, <laughs> so one thing I've learned from him is go where you celebrate it, not where you tolerate it. You know, his four four tumultuous years in the office. This man, even even afterwards, you know, he still had twenty five percent of the U.S. adult population still condoning his BS. That's seventy five million people, and his politics has went up since then. And so right then and there, that resonates, and not just with him that I've learned this from. But that right there resonates to me is that no matter what, who you are, what you stand for, what you're about, what you putting out there to the world, it's always going to be somebody out there who's going to condone your BS. So you go where you celebrate it, not where you tolerate it. So with this book, although a, a lot of the, the white people are saying, oh, this book, uh, this is a tool used to the black people for them that, you know, uprise against us. No, it's not. This book is simply just a, a tool to make you guys think. Think about, you know, things that you do subconsciously and unconsciously. Things that, you know, think don't exist but still does. And so, and then when you have these conversations, eventually somebody, it's my theory, I, I, I hypothesize that, you know, Somebody's going to read this, whether it be good or bad, they're going to talk about it, and they're going to share their opinion. Usually when you get online and you share your opinion, you have a counter or a rebuttal. Somebody gets involved, and then before you know it, they're having the conversations. And so, mission accomplished. They're having the conversations about systemic racism. Whether if it goes nowhere fast, that's another scenario. But the thing is, you know, at least I've tried. At least I've, I've, I've put my best foot forward. So nothing can be a failure but a try. Um, also, I'm well aware that you should, you know, change doesn't happen overnight, so I don't expect this book to, you know, just change the world overnight, but I do believe, manifest, plan, and prepare that this book will be the book that brings the world's bill. This is going to be the book that makes the world think, not just within American black and white community, but people all over. This paradigm, although I'm a, I'm tailoring it into systemic racism, it can, these paradigms can be applied to any type of, you know, shit shift it to the gender role, the shift it to, you know, sexuality, you know, any type of, you know, shift these paradigms can, can be applied to. And so I just chose racism. Um, but, sorry, I you know, lost my train of thought, but. That's um, okay. <laughs> the, the, the theory is with this book, again, it's just to change again. It's not going to happen overnight. But again, like I said, I'm manifesting the plan that this book is going to bring the world's bell. It's going to make people think. And over time, you know, what if, Nikisha, this is the, the generation that plans to see for the next? What if this is the book that helps it? So you never know unless you try it. So this is me getting my what if out of the way because I didn't want to live with this what if. Fact. You know, what if I would have never wrote this book? It's been sitting there yeah. in my heart. And so I'm glad I did. I'm glad that God selected me to be the person to do it and, and I, I know and I'm confident in God that this book will, you know, touch the right people 
black men you know, on both sides. So I, I will be real. It's not just you know white people that are racist out there. There are some racist black people out there who need to you know get out of their feelings about what happened in the past and and and, and come together, come to the round table, and, and be willing to work and work on ways. So um, that's just what it is that's going on here at Third Eye Entertainment in a different world. And so um, we also. We have merchandise in association with the book that will be available later on this year. And so for those who are listening, follow along. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to my website and you'll get that update. Um, other than that, nice. you know, I, this is just what, what came about it and then what happens when you... Basically, this all stemmed from me getting my mental health in check. What happened to me was, you know, coming up in that environment and then and, and that... For me, chaos was normal, and so when I got taken out of the environment, placed in foster care, and I got actually placed in, in good homes and nice school districts, um, it wasn't normal to me, you know. So to me, you know, it was too good to be true, and so what I would do would be sabotage, would, would sabotage, you know, those situations, get kicked out of, you know, foster homes. It was like that for me all through high school even college, you know, pushing people away, you know, having that bad rep of, you know, just being a hard person to deal with. And so in my adulthood, I had an opportunity, you know, with all the notches under my belt, career-wide, as you know, I had a lot of people looking at me and wanted to take me under their wing as a person who, you know, I just felt I wasn't good enough, I wasn't good enough, you know, I felt like, you know, too country, too ghetto, there wasn't nothing like me. And so I purposely squandered that opportunity I guess the life is just bugs me, if you will. But that issue right there, Nikisha, it taught me. It made me face the ugly truth about myself that I need yeah. to be fixed. That, you know, yeah. whatever I went through the past as a child, it wasn't my fault. It was out of my control. But somehow, some way, as an adult, it's my problem to deal with. And that's the message that I would like for anybody out there who's listening now to this podcast to hear. Whatever it is in life that you're going through that's holding you back, it may or may not have been your fault. It may or may not have been out of your control. But somehow, some way, it's your problem. And it's only you to deal with. It's only you to fix. And so don't expect the person who wants you to, you know, come back and make amends. It's only you to go fix that. And that is when I faced that ugly truth and, and decided to, you know, dismiss that, that notion that black people don't do therapy and took my ass to therapy, then that's when, you know, the way the world was living. And I was able to get it together. I was able to get my heart right, my mind was able to follow, and I was able to wow. tune. Right. And that's just what God, he does for you, you know, he can take you from the back and place you up front. And that's just what he's doing with me. And so before I leave this earth, I hope and pray that my life can be an example of what God can do for those who, who messed up plenty, who have squandered their opportunities, you know, messed up all their blessings, and he still, you know, loves and shows you grace and mercy and blesses you overall. I'm sorry, you're a little choked up about it. Yeah, nice. I understand. I understand. That's my, my definition of blood. Like, like I said, I do a little motivation speaking, so it does come out uh, from time to time. Nice. Um, so again, the main message for that is, you know, when you get your mind and your heart right, that's when you can go after what it is that you're meant for in life. When you manifest, plan it, prepare for it, and it will surely come to you. So that is how Third Eye Entertainment was born. Um, I've always had, you know, my travel blog, um, and my, my food blog at Dipperswell.net, so that's also intertwined with Third Eye Entertainment. That's also the entertainment side of it. Um, I've now traveled to just about 50 countries, and so um, that's also part of it. You know, I like to educate people, for those who don't like to travel, or especially within the black and the other one, they don't want to travel, but haven't traveled before, and, and just want them want to be an example for them of what, what it is when you get that opportunity to see the world changes your life and so um again we're all come and learn <laughs> but um the book it's on pre-sale what if a controversial paradigm shift go to my website differenceworld.net we have the book trailers and apple read available for you guys also it is available on amazon but i'm going to be real with you if you go to amazon you'll pay more unless you got kindle unlimited then it's free for the book um but what if a controversial paradigm shift? Again, I must state it does come with a disclaimer. It's, in, it's intended for a mature audience only. It does contain sensitive content, so if you cannot take this type of heat, 
do not bother coming to this kitchen. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah, so just put it out there. It's for grown folks only. And so, again, even though it's set up in a form, uh, it's for grown folks only. And so, and as far as those who read the book and feel negative about it and think that this book is, is to bash, you know, white people or the white community, no, it's not that. Um, it's, it's more than that. Yes, it is make, to make you guys think and make you guys be held accountable, but it's more than that. It's just it's, it's less acknowledged and less get past it type of situation with this book. And Hi. so um, that, that's pretty much all. Do um, you have any questions for me? Sure. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Who or what would you say motivates you? Um, God my nephew and, and um, my past coming up in that environment you know sleeping from pillow to post i'm never going back to that so failure is what pushes me to succeed i don't ever want to go back to sleeping in a crack house i'll never want to go back to being on the streets and sleeping at bus stop so for me i made my mind up a long time ago i wasn't going to depend on nobody i was going to get out there and get it on my own besides god i was going to have to just be that person and get out there and get it in the mud and, and for it that turned me into an alpha female and I make no apologies about it because you know what don't break you will make you and, and true don't break you true. Not. Yeah, <laughs> true. True. It's, that's what motivates me you know God my nephew you I take care of uh, he's actually a part of the book so shout out to my nephew Pookie uh, he's nine years old he's on uh, the spectrum of autism but he's a, a character um, you would never know it but um yeah, he's he's my he's my motivator, and then just that 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 fear of failure, fear fear of failure. So gotta succeed. So how do you balance your work life and your personal life? Oh, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna I wake up now. I can't even tell from night to day. <laughs> um, you just you know I have to do the best you have to. I, I will say this is it's definitely important that you keep your mental health in check and you know making sure that you exercise eat good sleep eat right and talking about even if you don't talk about it um, um find hobbies you know journaling riding bike you know for me i like doing anything there that we like and so um that's how i deal with it if you will as far as with the business side goes um i've always had that that, that business mindset even as a child selling the candy and stuff and so um, when it comes to business, I'm bar none. I just I, I pull a little by the bootstraps and box up. Do what I gotta do. Um, if I gotta pull all nighter, I gotta pull all nighter. If I gotta be up before the early bird, for the early one. Well, how do you ever this thing go? I'm up. <laughs> I'm up. 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 I'm I'm considered that everybody say I'm extroverted. I'm really introverted. I like to stay to myself. I like to be, you know, when I'm out and about, I'm by myself. We don't hang with anybody, but I know everybody. I'm, I'm that type of person. Everybody knows me, but I'm not in anybody's little circle. I, I move to the beat of my own. I understand. Definitely. Yeah. So, what is their most memorable or exciting moment to date? Oh, so many. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. I keep thinking about Egypt when I went to the pyramids of Giza and uh, and all over, you know, I went to Alexandra. I think that's one of the most exhilarating times for me because as a child, you know, just reading about it and seeing it in the books. And I, like I said, I used to say it as a little kid, I'm going to travel, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And just seeing how it came to manifestation. That right there, when I, I it was an emotional trip for me. I went in 2018 for my birthday. I got a, I went to Egypt, Dubai, and Abu Dhabi, and um, I had so much fun there. Another time, I think I remember. I think I was in Colombia, and uh, I, I uh, paraglided a parasail at like 30,000 feet and landed in a uh, cow patties. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh. I was like, I was having so much fun, and then we landed. He's like, get ready. We're about to land in the cow patties. I'm like, what? How are you know? He's like, no, I have to disappoint you that. <laughs> uh, yeah, surely it was a land full of cow patties. He said we landed in. But um, yeah, that was one of my most exhilarating times that I go back because just thinking of it as a child, 
you know, growing up in the hood, you don't think it's possible, but then as you grow up, you see anything is possible. So, that again, that's just what keeps that flame going for me that, you know, manifestation, the power of the tongue, and speaking things into existence is real. So. Nice. So, in closing, different. Just to remind our listeners how they can connect with you if they would like to purchase your book or if they want to book you for motivational speeches, how can they connect with you online? Oh, yeah, definitely. So you can go to my website at differencewell.net. Again, it's spelled D-I-F-E-R-N-T-S-W-O-R-L-D.net. Um, you can book me on free of charge. I don't charge a thing. Um, again, the book is on pre-sale. This is the last week. Um, so get your copy for twenty dollars. Price afterwards will go up. Um, what else? Yeah, you can go to our contact us page. It has all of our social media handles: our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're on all those social media platforms. Um, what else? What else? What else? As well as uh, yeah, just thank you for having me. I just want to take time to remind you that you know you have a crown on your head, queen, and you are rocking as well. I do appreciate the opportunity to be on your show. And just be unfiltered and, and speak the truth with you and share my story, my testimony, uh, my book, and my business. Uh, everybody out there listening, thank you guys for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. I know I talk a lot. <laughs> so this is what happens. Come to different worlds. So come and learn. Don't forget, yeah. whatever it is that you want, manifest the plan and prepare for it. It will surely come to you. Other than that, thank you, thank you so much for having me. Different no worlds. Come and learn. Thank you very much, Different. It was indeed a pleasure having you on my show today. I wish you nothing but success in all your future endeavors. So there you have it, listeners. Don't forget to follow Different for more updates about her career. And don't forget to join us next Wednesday for another episode of Unfiltered. Be true to who you are always. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my audio interview I did with the Unfiltered Podcast show host, uh, Ms. Nakisha Prince-Haynes. Be sure to follow her. I have her uh, link uh, in the bio. She's on Spotify, a really, really uh, uh, lovely young lady. Big shout out to her. Thank her again for having me. I had a really good time. I did this interview, I think, back in October of last year. So, um, we, as you guys can see, um, and we're in a whole new uh, season in 2022. And so some of these uh, podcasts that I'm uh, giving to you guys have been previously recorded. And I'm just not getting, you know, maybe the permission to get the uh, audio interview released or I'm just not getting done with the videos. But I also try to like to keep people, you know, updated when this happens. So, so uh, you guys can be mindful that it's not uh, something I did yesterday or did today. Uh, just be known that it's been done before. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, guys, don't forget to check her out. And make sure you guys like this video and leave a comment, your thoughts and opinions on what our conversations and us talking. As well as subscribing to my YouTube channel. And so what else we got going on, you guys? Like I said, we'll hit you guys up what's going on with Dippers Well. Uh, next vlog, we have our dedication to the International Women's Day. Day, gonna be talking about you know some fun facts about you know us women and, and being of all culture and all, all shapes sizes and color uh, definitely gonna dedicate it to my mother my queen uh, who's no longer here with us Miss Vernshel Shenever may she rest in peace as well as just talking about you know my opinions and what it is being a woman in business and just in a woman in general and so looking forward to sharing that with you guys as well as uh, what else we got going on also, well, let me just uh, disclose with you guys. I know I said I was going to share with you guys the Colombo travel video. Uh, however, being that it's the month of March, and I think it's probably the, the proper time uh, we got St. Patty's Day coming up, I share with you guys not just my Colombo trip, but my trip to Ireland I took uh, back in the day. I think this was, sure, I don't know when. I can't tell you off the back. But when the video comes, you'll know. But um, I'm going to share that travel vid video with you guys first before the Colombo. And uh, then I'll drop that. So um, <clears throat> International Women's Vlog, then uh, the uh, travel vlog for Ireland. And then I think I'll do another podcast drop. And then... Colombo, and so uh, that's the schedule I have uh, coming up for the month of March, and so just wanted to give you guys info and a lowdown on what's going on and different in her world, as well as just promoting my book. Be sure that you guys uh, want to get a good copy of my book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift. 
go to my website, differentspoiled.net, and get your copy. Uh, again, it's a book that's written to inform and encourage thought-provoking conversations, and it's intended for a mature audience only. So, again, head on over to differentspoiled.net and get your copy. Uh, what else we got going on, you guys? I don't want to keep you guys uh, held up for too long because I got other things to do. Uh, but <laughs> sorry, I know I got to be doing these videos, but I got other things to do. So that's just how it goes. So uh, with that being said, you guys, don't forget whatever it is in life that you want to go after. You have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Simple as that. Difference world. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America? Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.